So I'm always just thinking like, I always want to like, I guess one of the big reasons for coming back to YouTube is I like, I wanted to share some motivation with y'all like, and it's not coming from a point of view of somebody that's rich, but it's coming from a point of view of someone who really did put their head down for a year. Y'all didn't see me on YouTube. Y'all didn't really get an update on my life and what I'm doing. And over this year, I've changed my life. Like I'm like, I feel like I'm right there to like being rich, being that millionaire, being this, being that. Like I'm right there because things are rolling down and they're transpiring and it's a slippery slope and the ball is getting bigger and it's rolling faster it's rolling harder pause and i know what i've been doing has been working but like every single time i think about like giving motivation and stuff like that i just don't follow through with it because just sitting here and saying motivating things only makes you feel motivated in the moment and i think something that's going to be a little bit better than that is actually giving you guys analogies basic analogies where you can put yourself in these shoes when i say them in real life and think about the decision you make and if you're unmotivated and or if you don't believe in yourself as much or if you're not chasing as hard which are like the simple things you need discipline motivation and persistence to succeed honestly that's really it like if you keep going then don't stop you have to reach your destination it's common sense so you know what i'm gonna put you guys in these analogies i'm gonna put you in a few and i'm gonna say some motivational stuff and hopefully it actually does something for you so boom first things first i feel like majority of people don't believe in themselves and feel like people use the excuse of like not having what you need not having the equipment not having the, the skill the history what's the word i'm looking for the experience like you don't you don't have something like you're lacking something right and because you're lacking that thing like you don't start because like you want to start perfect like you don't want to start with mistakes you want to start and get rich like automatically and that's that yo that is so stupid bro because like there is nothing you're gonna start in your life to get rich automatically bro like y'all keep seeing people who blow up overnight and blowing up overnight bro like if you pay attention some of these people bro it's marketing scenes bro they they delete the content from their page so you see one viral post but they do that so everybody can focus on that post like nobody blows up overnight and for the people that do go viral overnight unless they're actually funny and actually talented and actually persistent like if they're lacking one of the things that i said persistence you know uh you know like if, if, if they're linking like like if they're lacking determination if they're lacking discipline or persistence or any of the three that i mentioned like they're not going to keep that level of notoriety like when they post a viral video and it goes viral for the first time and everybody's looking at their page if they page don't reflect consistent content that's as funny as that one that went viral or as you know whatever at the, you know to the same level of content like the people are not gonna sit there and keep watching you so i just want to say that now let's get into the analogies right let's say let's say you got two people right you got a person who is a, a master like skilled pick locker or like lock pick pick locker what the hell uh lock pick guy whatever he could pick locks really good he's a he's a master at it like the fbi hires him whenever they need to get into places without making too much noise because he can get in there quietly and then this other person is a novice this person has no experience no equipment has never picked a lock in their entire life but both of these people have one thing that's like actually in common they both have the lock pick in their hand and they're both in front of the same door, but in two different roads, right? On the other side of this door, it's not guaranteed. You see, they're one of two things. Road one is a road full of losses, and I mean a lot of losses, and wins. A lot of wins, not as many wins as losses, but those wins are heavier because they mean a lot more than those small losses. And it ends up to a road of riches, you know, millions, success, whatever you dream, who's watching this in their life of what they want, what you're working for, family being happy, things like that, right? Let's say the other road, other road is, you know, different than road one. Road for the losses, road for the wins, but at the end, you don't get that million. You don't get that million, you don't get that riches and that fame, but you get something else that works for you as much as that and even though you may not see it because everybody thinks money's the answer to all the problems it could be something like maybe a job opportunity or something that can get you there but it won't put you right there a lot of people if you were the person that didn't have any experience and had that lock pick in your hand you wouldn't go because one there's no guarantee of which one you're gonna get and for some reason if there's no guarantee it's not worth it to you guys you guys just don't like chasing shit that don't have guarantees which is stupid because most of y'all wake up every single day and go to work for a guaranteed hourly job knowing your same pay rate that's the only thing that's guaranteed for you and obviously having a guarantee sucks and i'm not one of those guys that's saying a nine to five sucks no i'm not saying that if you're successful from it cool but if you're sad from it and that's the only thing that you have guaranteed and you don't like it and you won't chase your dreams then yeah that's sad because like why are you sitting there with the same guaranteed thing now some other people if you had all those skills and things like that you still wouldn't do it because it's not guaranteed like i don't I don't understand like in this analogy for me the guy that has the experience and a guy that doesn't have the experience they're both in the same boat oh you know what i totally forgot to mention right 
this is a brand new lock, a lock that has never been shown. Like, even though the guy that has experience in it, he's never picked one of these locks in his entire life. He's never seen it. It's a brand new master lock, just came out today. But the other person, it doesn't matter because they haven't, you know, had the history of unlocking things. That's really important. Remember that for later. Now, I find it crazy because like, in this situation, both people have the same chance. Now, a lot of people will make the excuse that the person with the background that has the background and picking locks and all this stuff like that can like, you know, oh, he's different, he has the upper hand. That's the same thing as people, like people that don't have money see people with money and when they chase their dreams because they have money, they say, oh, well, they got rich and famous, like even more rich and famous because they came from money. Like, yeah, that might be true, bro, but you can't buy a lot of things. Like, you you can't buy subscribers. Like, you could go buy tools and buy like cars and buy spaces for pranks and pay actors and but if it sucks, it sucks. Like, it doesn't matter how much money you put into it unless you let someone else complete to go to production and nobody's really doing all that so that, that's called a director so like you know and that's just an example for youtube but like everybody just finds like for every single reason you don't want to start something you find an excuse and if it's not an excuse with something that you lack it's an excuse with with something that you don't have the fair opportunity and like me i'm that kid that has no background with the lock picking at all has never unpicked the lock i'm talking about played college basketball and didn't play high school basketball bro got cut didn't make the team no minutes rode the bench all that stuff bro like didn't see the court like i need you to understand like didn't see the court bro like like for real like and then i go play college basketball that's like crazy bro i was just talking to my man's kyle right i was just over his crib right uh he's an overseas basketball player in france he's outstanding and i was telling him that and you know i appreciate him a lot because he's a humble very humble kid very he gets everything he wants and deserves because he works for it so I me mean, that's just he's just one of those genuine people but he said something real kind to me and honestly like made me feel good because like you know seeing him play in france and i played one-on-one -on -one with him back when he was in college like and i was oh, i'm older than him so like feel me he's a grade beneath me so like he was dumb nice he was definitely better than me but like i seen him and i'm like damn this kid's d1 and i didn't feel like we were that far off i felt like if i had the high school background with the iq i could have played so you know i never looked at it that way though i looked at it as well at the end of the day me and him are both in college and whoever works harder is gonna get it he worked harder than me so he's a obviously he's a pro basketball player right so he he says to me he's like yo you know for me that's that's still amazing because it's like nobody does that nobody doesn't play high school and play college like you should be proud of yourself and i'm like you know what bro like to me i ain't say it to him but like in, in my heart like that meant a lot to me because it's like damn bro thank you for being a pro and giving me the recognition i deserve because you're in a position that i wished i could be in and you're the first person in that position saying that to me and that means a lot and it just goes back to show that like I didn't have anything that I was supposed to have and I still did it. I, I didn't like I was I was the shortest kid, bro. I entered high school four foot ten, graduated high school five foot seven. Got no girls, wasn't invited to no parties, wasn't invited for no sleepovers, always invited last, but I was always in the gym. And the thing that I had that was different than everybody else, I had the best work ethic, bro. And I always start stuff. I've been talking about starting YouTube, restarting it for like, you know, maybe like six, seven months. But like recently I felt it more. When I got out here to Cali, I was itching. I shot one or two vlogs when I first got here and I haven't shot sh since then, bro. Like I haven't shot nothing. That was on July, like that was on July 5th. Today's July 29th and it's probably my fourth video being recorded the whole month. And I did mad stuff. Shoot, shoot a music video with Lil Wayne. I think my drama choice is here. Wait one second, yo. Shot a video with Lil Wayne, Tyga. On Marion, uh, DDG. I just shot a video with his little cousin. I ain't really showing none of that stuff. What's going on, bro? How you doing, man? Chilling. Thank you so much, my man. Have a good one. Be safe. I'm leaving in two days, so I was gonna get a package of water, but it was just like, you know, a case of water, not a package. What the hell? A case of water, but it's kind of pointless because I'm leaving in two days, so I figured. My bad. Hands is full, so I figured I could just drink out of this big ass thing i did order some jamba juice i know i just said that's my jamba juice but that wasn't it anyway y'all i sell this stuff because i just like i get a lot of people that tell me i'm special that tell me i'm this i'm not and it's like i appreciate people saying i'm special bro i'm mad thirsty and it's hot i get a lot of people telling me i'm special and i really do appreciate it but to me like i don't really like i actually really don't like that compliment like my jamba juice almost here Anyway, I don't really like that compliment because I feel like talent and special are like like gifts, you know, things that you're naturally good at. And I wasn't naturally good at anything. Like I succeed a lot 
And a lot of people are like, yo, yo, like, that's crazy. That's talent. Yo, you're special, bro. I'm not, bro. Like, nobody gave me any recognition. Nobody paid no attention to me until a couple years ago. Until, until they see me get on TV and then they start to see commercials. And, and it's like, I'm not even doing that much stuff. And I know it's a lot to y'all. But if you know how much work I put in the background versus how many achievements come out, it's, like, perfectly balanced. And it's not special. Like, for them commercials, I had to put out 350, 450 YouTube videos that are improv to learn how to act. I didn't go to acting school. When I was on MTV, I memorized my script, them eight pages instantly. Like, I was ready. You thought I came there preparing for this, and I did. Uh, everything you do, every little thing you do, every little thing you pick up in life prepares you for that bigger picture. A lot of people don't know, like, me and my boy had a video where he pranked me, and he choked, and, you know, like, I fell for it and everything, and that video is what MTV hit us up for, and it's like... I ain't never been special. I had to work for everything. Every little thing that I have, like, I really put in the equal work for it. Oh my God, bro, these planes. I had to stop talking for like five minutes just to body this. It's called White Gummy from Jamba Jukes. It literally tastes like rainbow sherbet or orange sherbet. You're welcome. Anyway, yo, so look, you know I'm speaking a lot and I kind of just want you guys to like, kind of like follow along. I'm just telling you guys that even if you have the master class, the keys, if you prepare, and if you're not prepared, no matter what you do or experience you have, there's no specific type of preparation or pretest that you can follow through to succeed in everything in life. You just have to start. You miss all the shots you don't take. So if you got a person that takes 50 shots and makes 50 shots, they're 100 from the field or 50 shots. You got a person like me that takes a thousand shots and only makes 500 of them. I made half and I have a lower percentage than they do who has 100, but I made 500 shots. We've made 50. I took more than you. I missed more than you, but I'm not counting the misses. I'm counting them 500 makes. Like, that's what I'm saying. Yo, stop being scared to start because you don't have things. Stop being scared to start because you feel behind. Only you can change that. There's people out there that have succeeded from bare, like from nothing. There's people from India that come to the United States that have nothing that create these huge Fortune 500 companies. And they didn't have any money. They just had to pick up books. They actually had it harder than some of us, some of us black people. There, there's Mexicans here to have it harder, bro. There's white people here to have it harder than us, bro. Like you just gotta stop spending time acknowledging everybody else for what they win and what they do. Like if you're gonna acknowledge them, acknowledge how they did it and what they did and what they can achieve and use it as motivation, just keep it there. Nothing negative, all right? Keep your head up, grind, go be special, go keep taking shots, shooting shots. It doesn't matter what it is or how unrealistic it is. If you're worried about where to start, just go on YouTube and start somewhere. Watch a video, somebody do it, start somewhere. If they model, where well, they have clothes, let me get some clothes. Let me find a photographer friend. Let me work on posing. Let me go to the gym. Let me prepare. Let me let me start YouTube with my phone so I can afford a camera. Maybe I'll make ten thousand dollars off my phone doing YouTube. And I may, maybe I might even get a camera. Maybe God's trying to show me that I don't need anything. Maybe God's just trying to show me that I could trust Him. Trust Him. It's your boy Tay, I'm out here.